From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Uh, the warmth continues to kick in today, even with another day of cloud cover hanging in. Uh, and this is all out ahead of tomorrow's uh, storm system that brings us some stormy weather for the morning hours tomorrow. Downtown, clouds uh, hanging tough as they have most of the last few days with some occasional sun breaks. Starting to see a few more sun breaks working in over the past hour or so. Far as p southern Pittsburgh, Latimer, the four counties, we'll have a few of those off and on elsewhere. So again, the sun breaks will continue to gradually kind of eke their way through. Nevertheless, temperatures are still well above normal. We're a mixture of upper 50s to mid 60s right now. And in general, uh, we're going to end up with uh, cloudier spots having highs, mid to upper 60s, sunnier spots in the lower 70s or above by the end of the afternoon. Even warmer along the Red River where there is more sunshine, I'd about 76 to degrees, 70s, Ardmore, Durant towards Altus. Some spots on the Red River could hit the low 80s later on today. Again, that's where the warmest of the warm air is residing. As far as our highs, again, still plenty warm, even with overcast, mostly cloudy conditions. Uh, we'll go generally upper 60s. Once you get up towards uh, uh, Washington County, Craig, Nawada County, Southeast Kansas, out towards Miami, Grand Lake. Still looks like we'll push 70 in Tulsa uh, by late in the day. Same out towards Val Wagner and Tahlequah. And then some lower to mid 70s in southeastern Oklahoma, where it looks like you're going to eke out just a little more sunshine than the rest of us. Hour by hour in Tulsa. Again, we'll try to, I think that hit that high right at about the four o'clock hour. So we're going to keep climbing all the way through late afternoon. But then notice temperatures really don't drop much this evening as those south winds start to pick up, clouds increasing, moisture increasing. So we're going to stay very mild later on tonight for a nighttime uh, in February. Uh, the rain and storm timeline as we head into overnight and particularly tomorrow morning. So notice the timeline I've got here down at the bottom. After midnight, a few showers become possible. For, uh, for Tulsa, it's really after about 4 a.m. through about 8 a.m. or so tomorrow morning is our main window for storms to come rolling in and then quickly move out, some of which look like they're going to be severe. Uh, damaging winds are going to be the main threat. We might have kind of a little miniature squall line set up in one or two spots, maybe one or two kind of broken squall line features. Uh, but with the dynamics of this system, what we have to watch for pretty closely is that as, as those features develop, there might be one or two of those little kind of very quick spin up features on the leading edge of those lines, which means we can't totally rule out a tornado warning or two tomorrow morning. That's a low end probability, but it's just something that we can't totally rule out. So that's why we want folks to be weather aware in the morning hours. This shows you the zone for the uh, storm zone for severe threats in the morning. And you can tell basically includes all of us really almost anywhere could see a brief severe storm, strong and severe storm in the morning hours tomorrow. And you'll see this progression on future view. So the clouds hanging in today, some sun breaks at times, upper 60s to the north, low to mid 70s to the south. Winds cranking up overnight into tomorrow morning. Here come the rain storms rolling in. Here's about the four o'clock hour. And as we roll closer to sunrise, see some heavier storms zipping through. I mean, these are going to be fast moving storms. They'll be moving probably 40 to 50 miles per hour. That's good in a sense because it'll get the system out of here by late morning. But those fast moving storms can often have kind of a higher chance for some wind damage potential. So that's what we're watching for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, it's long gone. Sunshine returns. Strong southwest winds. We're back into the low 70s. Speaking of those winds, again, they're gusty enough today, about 20 to 20 25 miles per hour, but overnight tomorrow morning, 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts and then 35 to 40 mile an hour southwest winds tomorrow afternoon. That's why even though we've got a chance for rain and storms, a good chance for that in the morning, fire danger is still quite high tomorrow afternoon as the system exits and we dry back out. Thursday temperatures tumble, so the spring temperatures kind of come to a halt after tomorrow. Colder, blustery weather on Thursday, colder on Friday as well. Still looks like uh, kind of active this weekend with more off and on scattered shower and storm chances from Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Thank you, Stephen.